<laughs> in the movie, Saving Private Ryan was, again, the number one movie in the country with $23.3 million. Which... That's why everybody's lauding Steven yeah. Spielberg. Yeah, why not? In fact, I read that in, I think it was page six today, that uh, they saw Jane Fonda and Ted Turner at the movies. <laughs> yeah. Uh, on 68th Street, and Jane was sobbing. Saving, Pri saving Private Ryan, yeah, yeah. sobbing during the film. Hey, uh, you know, it's funny. I was walking by the uh, the uh, kitchen, the kitchenette we have here at the station. Yeah. And Tom was in there with uh, Amy, the uh -huh. former intern, now right. works for us. Uh-huh. Like he's giving, yeah, I hear him. I, I just heard, uh, 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 I caught a little bit of the conversation. Yes, I saw Parent Trap. Now, when do I pay? Tom goes to see oh, Parent Trap? Because Tom has to go see movies. I know, and he's like, he's like, he's, like, he's so bored. I mean, he fascinates me. I hear him it's like talking to Amy. Didn't you realize that every Monday is movie when, review day? Wh wh whoever Tom sees first, he tells what he saw. Yeah, well, Amy was the, got got the whole discussion, and I walk by, I'm laughing my ass. He's like, I saw Parent Trap. Yes, it was very good. And even Amy was like, Parent Trap. Yeah, what else did he see? So yeah, hip. Parent Trap. That's for kids. My wife took my daughter to see that. I made a Tasha Richardson fan. That's for five-year-old. Penelope took her her son Tom. Yeah, yeah. Penelope took Tom. They're just like taking a five-year-old. Big Natasha Richardson fan. Are you? No, no. Penelope wanted to go see Parent Trap, so I went with her. How did they get to? Her could, you're a, I mean, do you have anything to do? What else did you see this week? You should have said, you know what, honey, go see it yourself. I got. I'm going to think about the radio station and the computer situation and all. I mean. I don't understand you. When my wife goes, hey, I'm going to go see Parent Trap with Ashley, I go, good, two hours to think. Two hours to plan my next move. Right, to go into the basement with Whatever. Yeah, not porn, because that takes two minutes, and then I got two hours to do stuff. No, but even if I'm watching TV, I'm thinking about stuff for the station. But you must have seen something of more substance this weekend. Parent Trap. Well, I did. See, Friday night was... Light comedy night. Right. Saturday night. Was well, wait, if you saw light comedy on Friday night, I mean, Saturday you saw drama. Yeah, that yes, was, uh, that what, is what, correct. What did, what did you say? What was your light comedy? Parent Trap was the, parent, drama. Trap was the light comedy. <laughs> parent Trap was that the light comedy? Yes. Yeah. I hope it wasn't the drama. Friday night was Parent Trap? Par Friday night was Parent Trap, yes. And why are you bothering Amy with this? She asked me. I'm not bothering her. She why do you say to her, go, go get to work? She looked at me and said, mm -hmm. what did you say? Because <laughs> everybody I, knows. I, I, that's Tom's big discussion on Monday. <laughs> Tom, what did you? Uh, Tom, what movies did you see? Excuse me. He's a Siskel and Ebert of General Managers. Yes. I saw Parent Trap. Parent Trap. So that you? What do you give that? Two thumbs up. It was. It was decent, actually. Decent. Yeah. yeah. Right. Two golf strokes. Did it entertain you? Um. Yeah, mildly. Yeah, it was amusing. It was amusing. Okay. Hey, maybe you've matured, Tom. Maybe. So he'll do his <laughs> reviews in golf strokes. He gives that two golf strokes. Two golf strokes. So you give it out of five golf strokes being five, the best. Uh, out of five golf strokes being the best, I would give it uh, two and a half. <laughs> two and a half. Two and a half. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you have a half in there, Fred? There's a half. About a half I can... Okay. All right, and then? And then, and then on Saturday night? Was it the big Steven Spielberg night? I already saw that. Oh, okay. What did we see? Negotiator? Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, an action film. <laughs> action. That's not a drama. That's an action film. Action drama. All right. And how did you like that, Tom? I like that. I thought it was this is good. Now Tom, doesn't, now that Tom doesn't have to waste the day going up to each person. Yeah. Giving <laughs> his movie review. On the, on he used to get you, corner you, and do the oh, movie yeah, review. Oh, yeah, I get the review every Monday. Oh, every, every Monday morning. <laughs> and this Monday you didn't get it. I missed him. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bother. Amy so got, it. I got it. This here. is the first time in probably... A couple of years that I've missed you on Monday morning. That's true. Right? That's How true. many golf swings do you give Negotiator? I would give Negotiator four. Four out of five. Wow. Out of five, yeah. Wow. Samuel Jackson gives a very good performance. <laughs> and Kevin Spacey's great. So it's a white guy and a black guy. Right. And they what? They negotiate? Uh, They're both negotiators. Exactly. And one They're of them winds up taking hostages and the other one is supposed to be negotiating with him. They oh. Just him. And Tom, no problem following the story? A little bit. A little bit. A little confusing. <laughs> Penelope had to whisper in my ear at different So you saw two movies this weekend, yes, which you normally... You, you don't like to ever see three. No, three is too much. Right. Two is good. I'd overload. I'd burn out. No, but a comedy and... I forget, uh, if Amy asked me on Monday, I'd, I wouldn't be able to remember <laughs> that. Now, last weekend you saw the Steven Spielberg movie, but that would be a drama. How did you offset that one? Oh. What else did you see? Um, <laughs> I don't even remember. You don't even remember. No, it doesn't even matter. As long as you're busy oh, and entertained. Zorro. Zorro. Yeah. Okay. And how was that? Uh, the movie was just okay. Right. But, but he I would loved... give uh, whatever her name was, Zeta Jones. Yeah, Zeta six. Jones. Six. On a five golf stroke. She got a six. Yeah. <laughs> but the movie, she's, he she's doesn't know. And what about the movie? How many golf swings do you give that? Three. Three. <laughs> yeah, <she's pretty. laughs> and, uh...
You know, Bucky could probably sell this as a sponsorship. <laughs> right. Tom's, Tom's movie review. <laughs> He'll be talking about it later today. <laughs> right. Yes, like, if you find a sponsor for it, it'll be fun. Okay. All right, I'll give my okay. Yeah. Tom's movie review. <laughs> <laughs> about Tom. Everyone's curious to see what you think. Right. And the Steven Spielberg uh, epic, what did you give that? I'd give that five. Five, five golf swings. Yeah, yeah, that was really good. I'd give him a five? whole golf bag. I've actually, <laughs> I've actually read, uh, I've read a, really, a really, really good book on D-Day. Right. Um, by a guy who served as technical advisor to that movie. And it, Ooh, a book, it's Tom. Unbelievable. Look oh, at you. he's a book reader. Well, you're really filling up your days now. Yeah. He loves mm. uh, history. It was the action comedy. Tom's like a retired yeah. guy. He golfs, goes to movies, and, and has time to read books. books. Yeah. <laughs> What does the D and D Day stand for? Duh. Read that book. Duh. Why, why don't you go back? You don't. You really don't know. Duh. No. You don't know. You read a whole book on it. And you don't know what the D stands for. D was. Uh, it was a code word for. Well, let me tell you something. Oh. You better go back and read that book. What does it stand for? The D and D Day? Yeah. Tell him, Jackie. <laughs> go ahead. I have less idea than he does. Me neither. But I, I didn't read a book on it. I haven't read a book. <laughs> I just figured he knew. Like, why would they call it D Day? Six, nineteen forty-four. Right. So is Steven, Steven Spielberg the greatest movie director yes. of all time? Probably is, yeah. How many golf swings do you give Steven Spielberg? His the body of Steven Spielberg. Body of work. Yeah, I'd give him a golf cart. I would have to give him five. A whole golf cart. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All righty then. There you Maybe go. Even the locker room. I like the golf swings. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> it's such a vapid life. Golf, <laughs> movies, books, anything to keep him occupied. Yeah, kids. Yeah. Kids. There you go. Well, all right. Listen, Tom. Thank you for your movie I'm reviews. Glad, glad that I could fill the segment. All right. So, what did we learn? Steven Spielberg, five golf swings. That's right. As a director, five golf swings. Save His movie, Ryan. five golf swings. The Negotiator. Four golf swings. Three, wasn't it? No, was four. four? four. I right, listen carefully. Oh my! Was the Parent Parent Trap, Trap, two and a half. And Zorro, the Mask of Zorro. Three. All right. That's, That's Tom's review. All right. See, I pay attention. <laughs> <I'm tired now. laughs> I'm proud to say I haven't seen one of those movies because I've been so busy. Thank you. All right, Tom, good for you. Thank you so much, sir. All right. And, E, I'll need a bulletin board with Tom's reviews so they can hang here to remind me of what he does all week. Right. Tom's picks. Right. You never go during the week? No. No. Busy. Busy. Busy, busy. Okay, good for you, Tom. Congratulations on a, on a meaningless life. All but, right. you know, he spends the whole week picking, which, too, he'll see on the week. Oh, I know. That's why he's busy. It's like a guy who goes to the track. He's looking for a horse. We really don't focus on that until, like, Friday late. <laughs> have you seen There's Something About Mary? Yes. Yes, he has. Uh-huh. Oh, that boy. was a comedy. And what did you pair that with? I, I always I'm like to see the combination one. of films. Very few film <laughs> film type, film reviewers like Tom, they all, you know, most people just go to the movie. Yeah. Tom, Tom has, has to has balance out his picks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'd be a very heavy week if he had yeah. to see two dramas. Oh, I, and he puts on makeup and, uh, go, and gets a senior citizen di- discount at the uh, theater. I couldn't have handled Private Ryan and Negotiator in the same weekend. You couldn't have. It would have put you on overload. I would have taken Monday off. <laughs> but when you go to see something like There's Something About Mary, which is a very light comedy, right. yes. what did you balance that with? I don't remember. Maybe it was the Steven Spielberg drama. No, no. Probably no. not. All right. I would have remembered. All right. How Dr. Doolittle, did you see that? No. Why did you never go see that? Because it comes as a shock to you. My Penelope wanted to see that, and I really wasn't interested. And you put your foot down. I said, Damn it, woman, I'm not going. Really? <laughs> No, I, I don't that know. must have been an interesting discussion. Not all animals talk. It no. took us a couple of hours. I don't like talking animals. I don't like animals. talking animals. <laughs> Talk to my I like something more beautiful and more meaningful, and, and, and I want something where I, I, I don't have to suspend disbelief. There are no pretty women in that movie. Yeah. I like that Flubber movie. That was real. Because I'll tell you, the movie often hinges on how beautiful the woman is in it. Right. Tom will go for a bad, bad movie right. if there's a really good-looking woman in it. He's a guy. Is that bad? No, not bad at all. Just bring that into your review. Absolutely. What about Lethal Weapon 4? Have you seen that? Yes. What about it? Bad? That was pretty good. How many golf swings? Three and a half. Three and a half? Now, there's a shock. Why? Because because I just didn't expect that. <laughs> what did you expect? He probably saw that with... Uh, Two. Uh, something about Mary. That would have been... Yeah, that might have been a good weekend, weekend for Tom. Yeah, you hit it right. Yeah. 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 Right. right in the head. Kind of a light weekend, though. But, yeah. Uh, all right. Very nice. He can handle light. Movies. It's so heavy that would get to him. And Dr. Doolittle, did your wife go see it herself, or she refuses to go herself? I, I don't know. Right. We have not spoken about it. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't delve into this. Have you seen the movie Mafia? Where it's no, a, no, no, I have not. No, no, no desire. desire. No. 
All right. Very good. It hasn't tickled my fancy. What is Ever After, Robin? What Ever movie After is that? Ever After is the Drew Barrymore, Cinderella. You won't go see that, will you? No. No, she's no. too fat now. <laughs> <laughs> Years ago, maybe. When she was young. I like those kind of swashbuckling kind of things, but no. Who cares about Cinderella? Right. Right? I'm with you on that. Thank you. All right. Very good. Tom uh, Chiusano. There you go. Tom's picks. Tom's picks. <laughs> Excuse me while I applied myself. Yeah. I would like to see Angelica Houston as Zorro next time. <laughs> yes. I don't know that Drew Barrymore looks like she ate a golf bag. <laughs> <laughs> you know we learned nothing from talking to Tom? Not bad, All right. At least I'm consistent. Right. Thank you, Tom, and uh, good for you. Good for you. Way to think ahead. I'm going to get Bucky on this. Right. All right. We have to take a break. Speaking of breaks, and we have so much to get to. I know there's a lot of folks on the uh, phone. Oh, my. That's terrible. That's not nice. 